Wildcat 337 FB here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And uh, normally, I really prefer to start outside of the RV and work around. However, it is 65 mile an hour gusty wind days today. And if the camera seems unsteady, it's because this whole trailer is getting rocked all over the place. But Wildcats are built solid. They're built to last. Um, that's one of the great parts about them. Uh, unfortunately, just with the uh, wind hitting the microphone on the camera, there's just no way you'd be able to get a good outside tour today and have you hear anything other than wind noise. Um, so let's talk real quick about the things that you don't see on a Wildcat. You don't see an air conditioner. Instead, you see these little air grates right here. These are your cold air returns. This is called a Whisper Quiet AC system, or Quiet Cool as Dometic calls it. Same thing. Um, the uh, big advantage here is that when the AC kicks on, you don't have to crank up your TV. You don't have to shout to the person who's standing next to you. You can hear it. Um, Wildcats are absolutely, positively feature first type RVs. Like you notice we have a little shoe garage right next to the door here. What's cool is we also have a little trash can right here next to the door. Now, uh, if you look at the uh, picture tours that I put together off of our website, you'll see there's an access door from the outside to let you get to that trash can but it also lets you access that shoe garage, so it kind of pulls double duty. Um, they recently changed over to a uh, lady interior designer, and it shows, and uh, I mean that in the absolute best way possible. There is such a gorgeous residential quality to these interiors, even in a bunkhouse like this. It has, I mean, the just beautiful residential touches. Like, this is all true cherry hardwood. You can use the, uh, I call it the ring test right there. Um, you know, this is, it's not MDF foam. Same thing with all of your trim. Like you see these batten strips in here. All of this is designed to tie everything together to give it one smooth, cohesive look. We've added a residential ceiling fan here. And I do want to mention that not every single 337 is going to look exactly like this one does in this video. Like that ceiling fan is an option. We're looking at the summer stone interior. I don't generally reshoot footage. So if the pictures look different, it's because the pictures have been updated to reflect the actual unit in stock. Um, their dinette here, pretty rank and file. Easy access storage under both sides. I do like that. Now, a couple cool things. Again, things you don't see. Insulation. It's their uh, Climatec package. They have uh, forced air heated, insulated, enclosed underbellies for colder weather camping. Great for extending every single last day you can get out of your RV into the season. Now, they take that, they have a dual layer astrofoil, a thermofoil insulation, and they run that through the roof. And then they wrap it down around the nose of the trailer. And the nose cap is often overlooked. A lot of manufacturers do not insulate that properly. They will also use the same insulation in their floors. Now, another thing I want to point out, and here's a good spot to do it, is the side walls of the slide outs are fully laminated. A lot of fifth wheels aren't that way. In fact, most are not. A lot of the brands that we carry here at Halitz are that way because we like to zero in on nicer products that are built better and perform. You notice uh, all of your all of your doors are the nicer solid surface doors, and you don't have to do the uh, the juggling head dance. These things can hold themselves open with a pair of nice struts right here. Um, you know they upgrade all this stuff because this is a bunkhouse, and kids can really wear on a camper hard. Kids don't quietly close the doors. No, they beat on these things. What a wildcat's made to perform. Every window opens for ventilation, and there's I love this. The sidewalls of the slides are a wood panel to really separate this out as a slide room. It's a separate room. It's a separate entity on its own. However, they do nice little things that a lot of fifth wheels don't. They have lights for all major systems. Like you have living room, kitchen, slide out lights. You have one button for each switch. You don't have to walk through and individually turn off and on a bunch of different light fixtures. Um, the overhead cabins here are huge. I mean, they're not just big but they also had a shelf in here to double the amount of storage space that you get in them. But notice that all of your shelving is, uh, or all of your cabinetry rather, is hidden hinge cabinetry. It's nicer residential stuff. And one of the cool parts about that is if you're going down the road, it'll try to close itself. If this door bounces open because you hit a chuck hole really hard, it'll try to close itself. And it'll, you'll have a better chance of keeping your stuff where it belongs. Corian countertops are a standard fixture in the Wildcats, and you know the, the look is obvious, but the performance is the key. They last longer, they're stronger, they're better. And notice that uh, when you go Corian, you can do a flush mount counter or uh, sink so that you get more counter space. Now, I like to always pull this open and show you the American Stonecast sink. 
And it's not just American Stonecast because that's the name of the company. It's American sourced. It's American made. Wildcat and Forest River are very big on American sourcing as much as they can in this RV. Only if a domestic lender lets or uh, vendor lets them down do they ever uh, go international. Now I love this little hideaway pantry right here. This is so handy and it's an awesome use of space. And it also has three of these big full extension drawers built right into it. And it's all plywood construction. It's not press board or anything. But notice that when you're not using it, all you get is just a nice clean kitchen look, assuming I actually close the door all the way. Normally, you would find an eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer in a Wildcat, and that's awesome. That is 33% larger than the standard fridge and freezer in most fifth wheels in this class. We took it to the next level. This is an upgraded nine cubic foot, meaning 50% larger than most fifth wheels will have. Your TV in the living room will be included. We have simply removed that for storage purposes before this went out for display. But this is actually a good time to really get back here and look and see that this is swing arm mounted. Oh, well, I only have one hand, so it's a little tricky. Here. But the uh, this whole thing is swing arm mounted. Now, uh, you have a couple things going on. The TV itself is HDMI capable, so if you have extra devices, like a high-def satellite system, you can connect that here. But your stereo is also HDMI capable, so you have a lot of options going on here. Now, this stereo does everything. It's Bluetooth, it's DVD, it's high-def, it's inside-outside speakers. It does everything. This stereo is awesome. Notice that even your lower doors are full hardwood. And that's something a lot of manufacturers skip on. When you're shopping, they know that you look up. But when you're using your RV, you look down. But they don't skimp. They use the right stuff everywhere, every time. I like this uh, French style door. This is unique. This is a front bunkhouse or potentially front second living room. However, with, with a nice rear bedroom for privacy, mom and dad can always just pull this down. You know, if they need to just take a break and watch a movie and get away, mom and dad have their own private sanity room back here, if you will. Now, this is a full-size queen, meaning full 80-inch queen bed. I just wish they had more pillows. I'm joking, of course. Um, the uh, Both sides of the bed have windows that can open for ventilation. Uh, I haven't spoken with our techs, but I'd be shocked. If you, if you really wanted a king, I bet you could remove this cabinet right here and put a king bed in its place. The cool part with having a queen here is there's so much more walking space. But you'll notice extra power outlets here and there, and there's they're big on power outlets in Wildcat, so you can get a lot of extra things going on. Um, big window across the rear wall. I can't even point directly at it. Well, here, I'll show you. The camera gets all dark because it's so much light. Now, you have a, a twin, his, and hers. Uh, wardrobe and dresser setup, or potentially hers and hers. This section up here is a big wide open wall just begging for you to put a TV in there. What's cool is they put a shelf so you don't necessarily have to wall mount it. You could if you'd like to. You notice that they left a window here where a lot of manufacturers do not. Manufacturers peel out windows because it saves them money. Wildcat isn't about saving money. Of course they're not gonna just spend money recklessly, but if taking something away would eliminate feature or function from the RV, they won't do it. Uh, I like that this is wide open down here. Part of the reason it's open is so the bed can slide out and occupy that space. But you can just you could actually have a spot to put all your shoes and your extra bags and all that stuff. Just to give you an idea how much space we have in here, let me open this up for you. And uh, man, that is a lot of storage. And it's really cool because you can just leave this thing packed to the gills. You don't have to pack, unpack, and deal with that whole mess. That's just a headache. Um, you'll find uh, one or two of these in almost any Wildcat floor plan, the charging stations. Growing up, we called that a cigarette lighter. These are a pair of USB plugs to keep uh, phones and devices and whatnot charged. And again, with those the accent color slide walls, it just has such a look to it. It looks fantastic. This is also one of the few brands I've ever seen where your bedspread changes to match the interior pattern. A lot of manufacturers have gone cheaper by uh, ordering one set of bedroom stuff and then they only decorate in different colors the living room. There's nothing wrong with that, I guess. I just like that Wildcat goes all the way with it. This is a really good spot to stand here and notice. I'm not using a fisheye lens. This roof is tapered. It is bowed inside. Now, uh, almost any fifth wheel has a bowed exterior roof, but this makes it even more extreme, which here in the Midwest, when you get when you get into snow season or even just big time rain, you get superior runoff this way. Um, smart things like this, we have three easy steps, not two high steps. So if you've had knee trouble or if you got little kids in a bunkhouse here, it's so much easier for them. 
Now there's an extra switch down here at nighttime. You can illuminate the steps so that if mom and if you wake up like me at the night, I'm a zombie. I, I stumble around and I make so much noise. Um, the uh, This little light here is probably going to save my life from falling and smashing my face. They specifically do not put wood on these steps. It Wood steps look so good, I agree, but if your shoes get wet, wood steps are a slippery slipping hazard, and this is not. These linoleums are not. It has a little grip, and these little uh, edging pieces here have some texture to them. Very nice bathroom in here, and uh, you know, a bunkhouse with a 50-inch residential walk-in shower, that's pretty sweet. Now, these I like to point out, and most people aren't going to turn power on to a fifth wheel to show you. These are blue-tinted LEDs. Um, you have two sets of switches in here. So you think, well, they don't really brighten up that much. You're right, during the day, they don't. But they're not here for daytime use. They're here for nighttime use. Those blue lights next to this white shower will cause this whole area to glow white. That'll give you just enough illumination here in the bathroom that you can walk in, you can see everything, you're not going to disturb anyone who happens to be sleeping up front, and you can use the facilities and go back to bed without waking people up. Even up here in the bathroom, we have a nicer sink. We don't have a cheap plastic sink. Also, we actually get a medicine cabinet in here. Still hidden hinge cabinetry. It might cost a little more, but obviously it looks better and nicer. And I do really like to point out that next to the shower, they did leave a very good sized um, linen cabinet in here. So if you forget to grab a towel, you don't have to make that naked streak through the camper and have the kids laugh. Not that I've done that. Anyway, moving on. The uh, front bunkhouse slash extended living room up here is the godsend on ugly weather days like today. I can't take this video outside because the weather's terrible, but you see that, uh, you know, during the day, the kids can come up here, they can have their own privacy, they can have their own entertainment. Mom and Dad can chill out in the back, everyone gets to relax. Then at lunchtime, we get to meet in the living room and be a family and have fun. And then you get to go your separate ways and retain your sanity. Now, what's really cool is this, like, alcoves up here show you this entire front wall storage is shoved up into that nose cap. They have utilized every square inch of this thing they possibly could. Both bunks on this side get a very generous little pocket here so kids can keep all of their individual stuff. Every kid gets their own space. They left shelving here with little feed holes so that if the kids need to bring uh, an Xbox or something for entertainment on a rainy day, they can do that. And this bunkhouse actually has tons of storage again because every square inch of this is utilized up in that nose cap it's huge and then on top of everything else you have four of these massive massive fully plywood constructed drawers that pull out here extra power outlets to help the uh, kids keep uh, devices charged this is a uh, another hide to bed sofa up here just like the one that you saw in the living room and notice again it still matches the decor of the living room they don't ever change anywhere so this can open up to create extra sleeping space um the uh uh little uh, closet over here again more individualized private storage space now not only is this deep but you see that they put a second layer of shelves in the back let me get you a little bit more light here. Hold on. We have the technology. We can make this happen. There we go. Turn on some light. And you see all the extra space that you get back here? Well, they put those half shelves back there so that you can stuff extra storage in here. You can kind of double layer your storage. And these are super big and deep for all the kids' little goodies. There is a lot of awesome in this floor plan. And again, just a simple light switch for each room. I love that. Walk in, one light switch, you get lights. That's how it is at your house. Why isn't it like that in more campers? That's the question I have. And the question I always get is, well, it costs money to run wires. I don't know. I think it's worth it. As a person who goes camping, it's it's just nice walking in, flipping a light, and being done with it. So give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, folks. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.